Hi there. From trapped to stuck in traffic, Burning Man organizers say a driving ban has been lifted and the mass departure of festival goers began this afternoon from that desert camp about 100 miles outside of Reno. Also, after being postponed, the Burning Man effigy is set to be lit on fire tonight. We're getting out of here. An exodus from Burning Man now underway. Festival goers lining up and finally able to drive out after weather trapped thousands. This is a disaster like never been seen at Burning Man. This is what's happening out here. So-called burners giving an inside look at conditions in the makeshift city as rain forced them to hunker down over the weekend and stay put. Day 13 at Burning Man and the rain is back. A camp across from me has a mudslide that people have been doing. And I'm rationing my top ramen right about now. Around 70,000 campers instructed to conserve food and water and shelter in place. The site of the festival, Black Rock Desert, getting two to three months rain within 24 hours, less than an inch, closing the roads and exits with vehicles stuck in the mud and people finding creative ways to get around. You just kind of sick with each step. Saturday, not quite as I imagined it because of, uh, you know, Evidence, too, that the weather didn't dampen spirits for some. <laughs> Even celebrity status couldn't help here. Diplo and Chris Rock documenting their escape, the two walking for six miles in the mud before hitching a ride with a fan in the back of a pickup truck. The main issue is getting a car out of there is really impossible when it's muddy. We said, let's regroup and see if we can walk out of here. And um, I was, I said, that's the only way we can do it is we, we can walk out. Others describing the lengths they had to go to to get out. So we got like into the middle of the desert with like no one around and got stuck there for like 12 hours. We like slept there and finally we we're about to hitchhike and we finally tried it one more time and got ourselves out. Even President Biden is saying the White House is aware and following progress. <laughs> Now, one death at the festival has been reported. A man in his 40s who hasn't been identified. Burning Man organizers say it was not weather related, but a local sheriff's department say they are investigating. That's the very latest here in the newsroom. I'll send it back to you. You know, you feel bad for those people. Yeah, and I'm going to have a good time. And people out there were saying, I know people aren't going to feel bad for us because we're Burning Man people, right. but I kind of feel bad for what them. What does that mean, though? Like, it's cool, right? Isn't Burning Man like a cool? I, I, no, I've never been. But. I'm not cool enough to have ever gone, but I do want to go. Even seeing this, I think I would still at least go once. But the people who have been there for two weeks, I, I don't understand that. Rough. Um, I don't like, know what job you got. You just take two weeks yeah, off. Yeah, right? I mean, hang in the I don't know. I would love to talk to them. <laughs> if you have you to go Burning for Man? the whole time, or do you, you don't have to? You could go in and out. In and out? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's drying out though. It's going to be dry for the rest of the week. So that's the good news. Everyone can.